In the ancient realms of Greece, the pursuit of wisdom began with an inquiry into the genesis of the world. The yearning to understand the creation of earth, sky, sea, light, water, and air gripped the minds of those who sought knowledge. In their quest, lacking sufficient information, they envisaged these elements as living entities, bestowing upon them the semblance of divine beings. Earth, sky, and waters were deified, each bestowed with human forms, yet a discerning eye could unveil the symbolic tapestry woven into the narratives of these primal gods, each a reflection of natural phenomena. According to Hesiod, chaos emerged, a boundless expanse of unstructured void and darkness. From chaos, Gaia, the broad-chested foundation of all things, arose. Following her, love, the essence that draws all entities together, the architect of life, and the symbol of procreation, was born. Erebos, the embodiment of night, also sprang from chaos. Together, they gave birth to Aether, the light of the upper realms, and Himera, the light of the Earth's surface. Once light dawned, creation continued its relentless dance. As chaos birthed these entities, Gaia, in her eternal grace, brought forth Uranus, the vast expanse of the celestial heavens, adorned with stars. She endowed him with her own magnitude, enveloping and encompassing him entirely. Following this celestial union, Gaia sculpted towering mountains and conjured forth Pontus, the sea, adorned with harmonious waves. In this poetic tapestry of creation, chaos and Gaia, night and light, unite in a cosmic ballet, birthing the foundation of gods and the celestial realms, a symphony echoing through the annals of ancient wisdom. In the tapestry of Greek mythology, titans stand as personified embodiments of the primordial forces that have existed since the dawn of time. Gaia, the earth, and Uranus, the sky, birthed 12 divine giants, six daughters and six sons, known as titans. Hesiod's masterpiece, Theogony, intricately weaves the tale of Greek creation and the origins of gods, introducing Okeanus, Coeus, Coreus, Hyperion, Iapetus, Kronos, Theia, Raya, Themis, Menemosyne, Phoebe, and Tethys, the original 12 titans. Later accounts, like Apollodorus, included Dione, Phorkys, and Demeter in this celestial clan. Titans, beings of ancient rituals and immortal prowess, once ruled over Earth before the era of the Olympian gods. Known as the Elder Gods, they dwelled upon Mount Othrys, bearing the weighty epithet Titanic in Western languages, symbolizing their colossal might. According to Hesiod, chaos emerged, a boundless expanse of unstructured void and darkness. From chaos, Gaia, the broad-chested foundation of all things, arose. Following her, love, the essence that draws all entities together, the architect of life, and the symbol of procreation, was born. Erebos, the embodiment of night, also sprang from chaos. Together, they gave birth to Aether, the light of the upper realms, and Himera, the light of the Earth's surface. Once light dawned, creation continued its relentless dance, the toppling of Uranus. Uranus, fearing a prophecy that his children would overthrow him, cast Hecatonchires, Briarius, Cotes, Gaias, Cyclopes, Arges, Steropes, and Brontes into Tartarus. Incensed by this, Gaia, the Earth, handed her youngest son, Kronos, a sickle, instigating him to rebel against his father. Kronos, in an act of defiance, castrated Uranus, and from the blood that fell into the sea, the Furies, Erinus, Alecto, Tisiphon, and Megaera were born. The term Titan finds its etymological roots in the word Titanos, a fusion of earth and fire, connoting burning lime, the reign of Kronos. After dethroning Uranus, the Titans' first act was to release their imprisoned siblings from Tartarus, 
choosing Kronos as their leader. Kronos, wed to Rhea, sought to avert a prophecy predicting his downfall by devouring his own offspring, Hestia, Demeter, Hera, Pluto, and Poseidon. Despite his efforts, fate unfolded, and Zeus successfully seized power from his father. Kronos's brother Oceanus and his sister Tethys united, giving birth to 3,000 Oceanids, the nymphs of oceans, rivers, and springs. Titan Hyperion, joining with his sister Theia, brought forth Helios, Sun, Selene, Moon, and Eos, Dawn. Coeus, mating with Earth and Sea's daughter, Erubia, begot Creos, Astraeus, Pallas, and Perses. Titan Coeus, marrying his sister Phoebe, welcomed Leto and the star goddess Asteria. Another Titan, Iapetus, wed Oceanus' daughter Clymene, resulting in the famous offspring Atlas, Menoetius, Epimetheus, and Prometheus. Kronos, in union with his sister Rhea, birthed the third generation of Olympians, Hestia, Demeter, Hera, Poseidon, Hades, and Zeus. The twelve titans Mnemosyne, the goddess of memory, birthed the nine muses. Tethys, Oceanus's sister and wife, mother of Potamoi and Oceanids, Theia and Hyperion, parents of Helios, Selene and Eos, Phoebe, likely a goddess of prophecy, mother of Leto and Asteria, Rhea, revered as the mother of Olympian gods and goddesses, Themis, embodiment of divine order, justice, and tradition, Oceanus, the personification of the sea, Hyperion, father of Helios, Selene, and Eos with his sister Theia, Coeus, with an unknown role in Greek mythology, Kronos, the leader of the first generation Titans, Creus, with an unknown role in Greek mythology, Iapetus, father of Atlas, Prometheus, Epimetheus, and Menoetius. The birth of Zeus. Fearing his offspring would follow his tyrannical footsteps, Kronos devoured his children. Hestia, Demeter, Hera, Hades, and Poseidon resided within their father's stomach. Rhea, anguished, devised a cunning plan upon Zeus's birth. She concealed him in the Dicta cave on Crete, fooling Kronos into swallowing a stone instead. The Cretan Corets shielded the cries of the infant Zeus by clashing their shields, ensuring the secret remained safe. Zeus thrived under the nurturing care of the nymph Amalthea, fed on goat's milk, and raised in the embrace of the forest. As time unfolded, Zeus matured into a formidable young man, eventually overthrowing his father and liberating his swallowed siblings. Titanomachy. As Zeus ascended to challenge the Titans, a cosmic war known as Titanomachy erupted. Despite a decade-long struggle, the Titans proved resilient. Following Gaia's counsel, Zeus sought aid from Tartarus, unleashing the Cyclopes and Hecatonchires. In a fierce battle, Zeus, along with Oceanus, Hyperion, Themis, and Mnemosyne, faced off against Cronus and his Titan brethren. Prometheus and Epimetheus, second-generation Titans, remained neutral. In the end, Zeus emerged victorious, imprisoning the defeated Titans and appointing the Cyclops as their guards. Atlas, a crucial figure among the Titans, bore the perpetual punishment of holding the sky upon his shoulders. Prometheus, who sided with the gods, received a different fate, avoiding imprisonment. The demise of the Titans and the ascendancy of the Olympian gods. While Zeus triumphed over the Titans, Gaia birthed the colossal monster Typhon to avenge her children's defeat. Zeus, wielding his thunderbolts, vanquished Typhon, solidifying the dominion of the Olympian gods on Earth. Zeus, in a gesture of benevolence, shared the universe with his siblings, establishing the Olympian pantheon of 12 gods. He assumed control of the sky, granting Poseidon rule over the seas and Hades dominion over the underworld. Earth and Olympus became communal domains. Zeus married goddesses, 
bore divine offspring and welcomed them to Olympus, endowing them with their own unique powers. Hesiod, in Works and Days, nostalgically referred to the Titans as the Golden Age, a time of peace and prosperity cherished by the Romans who yearned for a similar era. If this story touched your heart, hit that like button, share it with fellow dreamers, and don't forget to subscribe for more enchanting stories. Until next time, keep dreaming, keep believing, and always explore the extraordinary. This is Era Epic Stories, signing off with love and wonder.